Changes are coming to the Youngstown City Schools. Now they're talking about spreading the school year throughout the entire year, especially the summer. Well, we got a hold of vid a video CEO Chris Mohib sent out to his staff, updating them on where the district is on making some changes. He talked about a transportation problem, solving it, teacher salaries, and changing the school year calendar. The story is new at 11. I know teachers have been asking where are we going, parents have been asking, but that's the reason we have five community meetings. That's the reason why I was trying to get input from everybody from all spaces and all walks of town. Decisions about grade and school building alignment, programs, and the calendar will happen soon. Mohip and his administration will buckle down during spring break next week and solidify a plan. After looking at the trends, the data, and what the community wants, his team has looked into different models to transition to. One thing it comes down to is the effects on student transportation. Because we know transportation is struggling here in, in Youngstown, um, and to no fault of anybody, it's just it's difficult for parents to get their kids on buses, and when they miss the bus, they just don't come to school. Mohib says what he does know, transitions and uprooting in a student's life in the first 18 years can be detrimental. That's why once a decision is made after next week, it's not going to change. We're being very thoughtful because when we make this decision, we don't want to revisit it in the coming years. We want to make sure that this is right for the district, this is right for our community, and we don't mess with it again. As for the school calendar, one idea being tossed around is what's commonly referred to as year-round schooling. I say balanced calendar because I don't want people thinking year-round because when they hear year-round, they think I'm adding days. I am not adding days to the calendar. There are 183 days in the Youngstown City Schools calendar. That would not change. But Mohip worries about what students are doing in the 10 weeks of summer vacation. The students who were low income and may not be able to prepare for the next school year or they forget over summer break. He says the balanced calendar model is successful because by the time students and teachers get tired of school, it's already time for a break. We had a two-week break in, in the fall. We had a three-week uh, winter break. We had a two-week spring break and we had a six-week summer. And he says it works. My teachers liked it. They didn't like it at first. But when I went back and surveyed them, uh, you know, 97% of my teachers liked that balanced calendar approach.